Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank you, express my gratitude for this kind invitation to be here and be able to communicate our views on a series of interesting geopolitical subjects. Um, I, I'm, let me say I'm quite happy I see many people in the room. That's, I think, a step in the right direction. Even we should not become complacent about totally evading the danger of COVID. But we have to plan along and, 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 and uh, uh, adjust. Um, on your uh, introductory comment, let me just say that Greece has come a long way since the 70s. Um, well, uh, political disputes are, are, are always there and that sometimes they're passionate and, and, and poignant, but uh, I think that uh, a lot has changed since those times. Greece has stayed in NATO and embraces NATO as a, in a, 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 a military alliance um, where uh, uh, which seeks a new role in, in world geopolitics and adjusts itself according to uh, uh, the sign of the times. Um, Greece is honoring its, its membership status in NATO, is a stable partner and ally, and is enjoying a flourishing and ever-growing strategic relationship with the United States of America. So the old anti-American climate is a thing of the past, I would say. And the strategic relation between Greece and the United States, I think, is better than it's ever been before. And that can be evidenced by the, uh, our mutual defense cooperation agreement with the U.S. government, um, which is currently being amended. I would say that the working groups will have concluded their discussions on this by the end of the summer. So sometime in the early fall, we'll have it, hopefully, we'll have it signed. Uh, by the Secretary of State of the United States of America and our Foreign uh, uh, Secretary, uh, which is yet another testament of uh, um, uh, the strong strategic bond that is now um, uh, a certainty. Now, on the front of the Eastern Med, Greece views itself as a net security provider and a pillar of stability and security. Um, the Eastern Med is a let's say, a, a, a volatile region. Historically, whenever there was trouble in the Eastern Med, this trouble was extending itself and spreading over the region and beyond. Wherever times were peaceful and there was, there was all uh, the necessary conditions for further growth and prosperity in the region and beyond. So I think it's in our best re interest to uh, ensure that there's peace and stability and therefore the potential for growth and prosperity in the Eastern Med. Now, in that respect, Greece is engaging very actively on two fronts. The first front is uh, um, intensive diplomacy. The other front is enhancing our deterrence element by ensuring the enhancement of the overall capabilities of our armed forces. Of course, the one complements the other and goes along with the other. We are very active on the diplomatic front. Of course, foreign policy is mainly conducted by our Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis, aided by Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias. But on the, in the realm of defense diplomacy, there's also a lot of room for uh, um, uh, uh, good and positive results over time. And those results can be actually be measured in a series of agreements on the defense cooperation domain. That has been the case in our being engaged in bilateral, um, trilateral and multilateral schemes with countries that share the same views more or less on what constitutes um, security and stability in the region. That has been the case in our trilateral cooperation with Cyprus <coughs> and Israel, in our three plus one format with Cyprus, Israel, and that big one, which is none other than the United States of America. That has been the case with our quadrilateral cooperation scheme with France, Italy, and Cyprus, as well uh, uh, um, uh, our, our uh, uh, bilateral cooperation agreements with other countries like Egypt, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia. The common thing, the common denominator in all of that is that we all share more or less the same views um, on, on what is a stable and secure environment in the region. And the main condition 
is that we all adhere to what President Biden describes as the rules-based rules -based international order, with the rules being none other than international law, extant international treaties, um, legitimacy, and good neighborly relations. Everybody abides by those rules. There is no problem, and we can all get along. Somebody fails to recognize and abide by those rules, then we've got problems, and we've got to uh, uh, act in unison in order to isolate that those all those who do not uh, wish to abide by those rules. And I think this is a very simple condition that I'm describing. So, in a nutshell, um, Greece sees itself as a stable ally and partner for our NATO allies, our European Union allies, and our regional allies and partners. We see ourselves as a pillar of stability, and we are working hard on the diplomatic front in order to make that happen, bring stability, security, and prosperity to the region. But on the other side, we're also very, working very hard to enhance our deter deterrent element, which is none other by the, than the might and capability of our armed forces. That's why we've embarked on a very ambitious, yet financially well-planned and prioritized um, uh, program in order to uh, revamp the existing capabilities of our armed forces and also add to them by, uh, by the, through the procurement of new uh, high-tech and uh, um, highly capable weapon systems like airplanes and ships, but that's another story and I don't want to um, um, monopolize later time, the time in my, in my presentation.